Welcome to DWS Market Outlook. Inflation rates have somewhat taken a backseat in recent weeks, given the volatility in markets. Unfortunately, however, inflation has not disappeared overnight. The good news is that inflation rates have been falling significantly in recent months. Coming from 10.7% in October 2022, the euro area inflation rate declined to 6.9% by March. This encouraging trend, however, does not mean that the underlying inflation trend has lost momentum. Just have a look at the euro area core inflation rate, which just rose to a new high of 5.7% in March. Hence, the job of central banks in fighting inflation is not done yet. This fight against inflation is causing quite some pain, as one could observe in recent weeks. The spike in inflation since 2020 has also had a monetary side. During the corona crisis, macro policy tried to support the economy with generous stimulus measures. At the same time, however, consumers in many cases were unable to spend money in view of shortages in various goods and lockdown-related restrictions in services. Hence, bank deposits rose sharply and as a consequence, monetary aggregates increased strongly as well. In order to contain the resulting inflation risks, this liquidity overhang must come down again. However, this requires that deposits with banks need to decline as well. As a result, the road back to price stability may well be a bumpy one for financial markets. In any case, it is important that there are no significant restrictions in the supply of credit to the real economy. Central banks, regulators and other institutions have demonstrated in recent weeks that they are aware of these risks and will step in quickly if necessary. The task remains to slow down the economy in such a way that inflation comes back down, however, without causing too much collateral damage. If this can be achieved, the turbulences which we have observed in March may even have helped to pave the way for a medium-term recovery in markets. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.